Hello, this is Andrew with Mimillion Bike, and this is a set of Orange Seal 80 millimeter Versa valve or tubeless valves. Let's get this open and have a look at what's inside. So inside, we get some valves, and before moving on, let's see how long they actually are. Let's take off the cover here. So from the base to the top of the valve here is 78, actually from the base to the top of the valve here is 77.8. And I imagine that if you go from here to there, that's probably uh, 79.9. 9. So that's probably where the 80 from. These should be just about perfect then for the wheels I'm gonna put them in, which are my Reynolds Aero 65s. I did a review of the Milkit valves in the past, and while they worked well for what they were, um, the long-term durability of the valve hasn't been awesome. So I've been thinking about getting different valves, and I thought these would be a good option because I really wanted something that had a metal base on the back here. So aside from the valves, you get a bunch of stuff in here. Two extra valve cores, uh, a bunch of just little rubber uh, washers, and a bunch of the, the nuts that attach or secure the, um, the, the valve stem to the uh, rim. You also get this tool, which I believe is a valve core removal tool. Yes. And then I'm not sure what else it does, but it also, you can, I guess, ride with it like this on one of them. So you, if you need to, you can carry it with you in a very convenient way. Before moving on, let's check to see if we can get our injector tool through it, which you can, which is massive bonus for me. Really pleased with that. Uh, let's put one together and see how much, actually let's, let's, let's not put one together, but let's see how much the individual parts weigh. So just the valve stem, just the valve stem, 3.1 grams, with the core, 4.7, with the conical seal, that's 5.2, and then with the uh, flat kind, that's 5.4. And let's just add a couple of these in there to see, get the total weight. So that's 5.8 total weight system weight per valve with the flat one. And then with the conical one, we get 5.6. So that's very consistent with what we ought to see with other uh, competitive valve stems. Uh, next step, let's get it on the bike. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's see how much this funky thing weighs in contrast. So the core removal tool is 0.8 compared to 0.3 for the non. So we're here to finish up with these orange seal 80 millimeter valve stems. The short answer is I really, really like them. If you just want to stop there, go ahead. Thanks for watching. Like the video, questions below. Um, if you want to find out why, then let's dig into a little bit. I think it's really easy to think about uh, valve stems, tubeless valve stems, as that they're, that they're all kind of the same and that there's no real dip product differentiation between like a valve like this or valves like these. I mean, except for the milk. The milk actually has quite a few features that this does not have. But after running these a year, I don't run them anymore. Part of the reason why I don't is one of the things that I really like about the Orange Seal uh, valves. And that's that the, the stem is a single piece of aluminum all the way back, and then there's a cap like it goes back and like you, you see when it unboxing where this ceiling part 
is a replaceable part where you can either use the conical one or you can use the flat one depending on the shape of your rim. But you have that bit of metal to push against the seal so that when you're pulling the, the valve into the rim, it has something to pull against the bottom. And so the, the seal gets pushed into the rim instead of being pulled into the rim. And then you get, when you don't have that, you get this deformation around the bottom of the valve where it's just constantly like trying to get out of the rim. And you don't get that with these orange seal. And what happens, the, the practical thing that you get from that is that they seal better. And so they, the, the tires hold air longer. And that, that problem is the same with both the stock Reynolds valve and the Milkit valve. And it's one of the, and you can see the deformation here really badly on the, um, oh, the focus isn't great there. Hopefully you can see that. But you can see the deformation here along the bottom or the top of the seal where these just don't, th this, the stock valve seals better than the Milkit valve for holding air in their long term but neither of them work anywhere as well as the orange seal valve. The second thing that I really like about these valves is the, the internal width of the valve. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't know of any company, including orange seal, that publishes the inside width of their valves, but it's a super important thing. First, because it makes mounting the tires so much easier. You just have so much more room inside the valve stem to just air into the tire. Now that's not as, as important with a road tire because the volume is less. Whereas on a gravel or mountain bike tire, being able to push the air in faster means you have to fuss with the wheel less in order to get it to go on. But even here with these guys, or in, with these uh, course of speed, uh, I didn't take the valve core out to mount them. So valve core in, just blew in air, pop, right on. No problems. Whereas when I put them on originally, because I had actually both of these, that's where they came from. I was running a Milka in the back and the Reynolds in the front. I had to take the valve, well, I, yeah, obviously with the Milka, you have to take the valve core out because it has the um, that long plastic bit in it. But even the Reynolds one, I had to take it out to mount the tires and I didn't have to take the valve core out. Uh, mounting with the um, orange seal, which is kind of a, a little bit of a convenience item. And then you always have that extra headroom if you do need to take out the core just to get the air in there so much faster than you would with either of these. And these are pretty wide. The second thing about having a wider internal width in the valve is that it's so much easier to inject sealant. So both of these work fine with uh, both of the injectors, the sealant injectors that I have. But I do have some valves, uh, some tubeless valves, where the internal width is so narrow that I can't get the injector into the valve stem very far. So I have to create an interference fit with it. I just kind of push it as hard as I can into the valve stem to create that interference seal and then inject. And then inevitably some of it leaks around, so it's a little bit messier than if you can get the injector all the way into the tire and then you know, just squirt it in and then you don't have any mess at all, except like kind of what comes out uh, when you pull the injector out. And so having an a wider stem is just so much better. And then finally, the, the last thing that I really like about it is the bling. And like, I love that they <laughs> include this orange uh, nut. And if you want red, you can have red. There's a black option if you, you know, that's your thing. And there's all these other colors and there's even that little like core valve core thing, but I don't see the reason to use that personally, but it's an option. It's great. And you know, if you have flat rims, use the flat uh, seal. If you have conical rims, use the conical seal. And just like having the flexibility to buy one set of valves or one set of tubeless valves and you get all that extra stuff for what is essentially the same price as you would pay for any number of you know competitive quality stems but you get all this flexibility and the bling 
So I love it. I just love it. And they work so well. They hold air better than either one of these. So I'm not going to say they're perfect because is anything really perfect? But I do uh, highly rate them. I really, really like them. And I would recommend them uh, highly to anyone who's looking for a good, solid tubeless valve. And I know that's a really long-winded. I've been going on here for a long time talking about, <laughs> you know, a valve stem. But awesome. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments. Drop them below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.